Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another half case break of 2021-22 Panini Elite Basketball. Six box, half case, uh, pick your team 11. Half case from a fresh case featuring the new draft class, the latest draft class. We've been working on that Lamelo Anthony Edwards draft class for so long. But now we can finally get our look at the latest, the current draft class. All right, so... On Monday the 21st, big thanks to this group for making it happen. No fillers, straight no filler. I love it. All right, so Corey ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Wizards. That's why I have a little star next to your name. There's the Elite case right here. Second half already in the store if you want to run this back. So we got six boxes over here and then six boxes over here. We're going to select a die. We're going to select that one over there. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and then four, five, six for this right side over here. One, left side. So this side we will save for next break. So we'll mark this uh, 12. So we've got 12s marked there, and then 12s marked up there. Great. Set those right there for now. All right. And let's roll with these six boxes. Good luck, everybody. This is Pick Your Team 12 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, I wonder if our Instagram channel does personal breaks, at jazbeesbreaks on Instagram Live. Not sure if they have any personal boxes left, but if you wanted one all to yourself, you can go check that out while we're doing this break. Draft class Wikipedia page up. So who is the, uh, does anyone know offhand, the, the leading candidate for Rookie of the Year in the NBA? Let's see, uh, actually, let's take a moment to see what Vegas, what Vegas is saying. All right, so as of, when did they do these odds? This, these odds were updated today, Monday the 21st, not too long ago. So according to BetMGM, your, uh, your favorite, your runaway favorite to win Rookie of the Year is Evan Mobley for the Cavs at minus 333. Compared to the next favorite, Josh Giddy, Oklahoma City, at plus 850. Basically eight and a half to one. Then uh, Scotty Barnes and Cade Cunningham are tied plus nine hundred. And then Franz Wagner, Io Dosunmu, Chris Duarte, Jalen Green, then Jalen Suggs, Davion Mitchell, so on and forth, so forth. All right. 
Um, let's see if we can find some Evan Mobley's in here somewhere. We got out of 49, Victor Oladipo for the Heat. Corey. And we've got uh, Alperin Sengun, rookie yearbook autograph. These look pretty cool. Uh, Houston Rockets, that's going to be for Leo. There's a Brandon Boston Jr., 134 out of 999. All rookie cards are numbered. I think it starts at 999. There's out of 99, uh, Jason Tatum. Corey with the Celtics. Other autograph is Impact Impressions. Uh, Drew Gooden. Cleveland, this is for you. Chris Butler with that one. And we got a John Sally impact. Imp Are there three autographs in each box? No, it's just fine two autographs. So we got a bonus auto. Old John Sally impact impressions autograph. Detroit. That'll be for Mike Joseph. And of course, all cards will ship. And there's a rookie to 999, 777. Jackpot out of 999. Usman Garuba for the Houston Rockets. That'll be for Leo. I like the 777 right there. All right, nice start. Next box. Now, with, with Evan Mobley being the long shot, where does anyone see any value in some of the... Or uh, with Evan Mobley being the, the heavy favorite to win Rookie of the Year, anyone like any of the long shots? You think, is there value in it taking any of the long shots? Josh Giddy's at plus 850. Scotty Barnes at plus 900. I wonder if the Raptors make like a really strong finish to the season and Scotty Barnes is one of the reasons why. It could be nice to get him at 9-1 to one at this point right now if you believe that, that that's going to happen. I don't know who can who can have a hot finish. Cade Cunningham maybe Mike Sinkin. Yeah, Cade Cunningham's also nine to one.
I want to say Jason Jaspi is a real big fan of Josh Giddy. I mean, he's been putting up some nice numbers too. All right, next box. Good luck. And there's Jason Preston, rookie card, to $9.99 for the Clippers. That's going to be for Jonathan. I'd be very impressed if someone ends up with getting all the letters, Giannis and Antetokounmpo. There's Bradley Beal, 6 out of 49. I suppose the base cards you could probably find, but if it feels like an out of 49 or something like that. There is Alex Caruso, 26 out of 3. I, I miss you, Alex Caruso. Come back. Chicago Bulls, Anthony with the Bulls. Is he back from that, that injury? Really hard foul, I guess. And there's Scotty Lewis, 971 out of 999 for the Charlotte Hornets. Rookie card going to Brian Watford. Got a Kelly Obrey Jr. die cut to 88. For Charlotte, that'll be for also for Brian. And we've got old Denver Nugget, Impact Impressions, Lafonso Ellis. And that'll be for Nathan Jones. Sam saying they oh, oh they only made Giannis's first name in those spellbound cards. All right, it's a little bit a little bit easier, I guess. I thought they were doing both first and last names. Are we doing any of those Gold Rush licenses ever? Ever? Yeah, probably. We uh, we always get we always get those whenever they're made available to us. I mean, it could be a different year, could be a different set of sports, but yeah, we get those jerseys every so often. Anyone have any thoughts on MVP, NBA MVP? Currently, the favorite is Joel Embiid at plus 125. 
And then Nikola Jokic behind him at plus 275. Then Giannis at plus 375. And then it jumps up to uh, plus 1100. That's basically 11 to 1. Steph Curry, John Morant's 14 to 1. Devin Booker, 22 to 1. DeMar Rosen, 22 to 1. Then it jumps again to Luka Doncic, 40 to 1. Okay, Joseph. Yeah, group breaks, I don't know. I think for, right for now, it's personal breaks only, I guess. If we did have group breaks of it, it would definitely be on the site. But I don't think it is. But for now, personal boxes, group day, group breaks, yeah, someday. I don't know when, but we always we have those group breaks every once in a while. There's Jaden Springer. Rookie yearbook. That's going to go to Kyle and the Sixers. Joel Embiid, rookie of the uh, rookie of the year MVP. What does everyone think? He's been having a pretty monster season. I wonder, is there value? I know he's a long shot according to Vegas, but is there value on Demar Derozan plus twenty two hundred? 22 to 1. Is there value there? 59 out of 99. Aaron Wiggins. Okay, see. That'll be for Sean Maddock. Because you know, the Bulls are on their way to possibly winning the winning the East, which I don't know when the last time they did that. Been a while. Stuart Culver to 99. DeMar DeRozan putting up some crazy numbers, some record-setting numbers. And there is Jalen Suggs. Eight out of ten. Nice low-numbered autograph for the uh, for Orlando. That's Cody Harrington with the Magic. And Suggs was fifth overall pick. Nice. Yes, Mike's Mike's thinking. Yeah, there's got to be value on DeRozan. You know, like a little little coffee money on a uh, on that on that line. Hopefully, the All Star break doesn't slow slow him down. Because I think going into the All Star break, I mean. His name, I think, was being mentioned in the same sentence as like Wilt Chamberlain, I want to say, with some of the numbers he was putting up. There's Sharif Cooper, 814 out of 999 for Atlanta. That's for Serenity. So if he comes out of the gate firing, ooh, might have to keep an eye on those, those numbers, those odds. He's the favorite, though, right now. He's been having a great season, too. At a 67 die cut, Nick Claxton, Nicholas Claxton, Jeffrey with that one. <laughs> what am I, like his buddy? I call him Nick. It's Nicholas. All right, anything else numbered here? No. All right, we are halfway through this half case break.
about another 20 minutes to go on this. Aaron Rodgers doing now? Oh, he's got a big Instagram post thank thanking people as if he's out the door. What does uh where does Aaron Rodgers end up, ladies and gentlemen? Or does he stay in Green Bay? All right, next box. We got Herbert Jones, rookie die cut to 35. That's for the Pels. That's uh, Minsu with that one. Oh, is that your autograph? No, that's just Kendrick Nunn flipped around. Why was that flipped around? Is that important? Could use a little Kendrick Nunn as a Lakers fan. We haven't seen him all year. And there's old artist Gilmore. Impact Impressions autograph for Matt Daniels and the Spurs. Kendrick, if you're listening, get well soon. I think he had some, like a knee injury, knee or a hip injury or something like that. I don't think he's really tagged as a sort of He's been pretty much healthy his entire career, and I think that's like kind of his first major injury. It must be frustrating for him. New team, I'm sure he wants to wants to make a good impression, but got injured in the preseason. We really haven't seen Lakers haven't really seen him since. He's kind of a young young shooter, good shooter. That's something something the Lakers could definitely use. Carmelo's been injured too. I think he's going to come back soon too. It should be a boost for the Anthony Davisless Lakers once again. 39 out of 49, Daniel Gafford. This guy's out too for a little while. Look at that. Two injured dudes right here. Chris Paul, fractured thumb. Anthony Davis, bad sprain of his ankle. He'll be evaluated in, uh, not even coming back, of, he'll be reevaluated in four weeks. Man. Davion Mitchell to 999. He's one of the bigger names here. Davion Mitchell, of course, for the Kings. Oliver Soria, finally. I think Oliver joined a bunch of breaks and didn't, didn't see one. So 714 out of 999, like the the old LA area code. And he was a ninth overall pick. The Kings retooled recently. It looks like looks like they've moved on from Tyrese Halliburton, which was a little bit of a surprise. But that means maybe they're really going to anoint Davion Mitchell as like their future youngster. And we've got Josh Christopher, Houston Rockets autograph. Leo with the Rockets. The Rockets red glare.
John Morant be getting a little more MVP love? He's 14 to 1 in between Steph Curry and Devin Booker. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Another another underdog MVP pick. I don't know if Joe P is still listening, but Joe P, what do you think about if he's listening? Devin Booker. He's a uh, he's about he's favored about the same uh, odds wise as Demar Derozan, twenty two to one. Now Chris Paul is out for like four to eight weeks, maybe possibly the remainder of the regular season. If Devin Booker just lights it up. That could be that could be a little interesting too. Here's Cameron Thomas, Pen Pals autograph. 13 out of 25. Nice low number. I like the gold foil right there in Pen Pals. That'll be for the Brooklyn Nets, Jeffrey, with that one. Brooklyn Nets just added a uh, I think recently added Goran Dragic, I want to say. Pretty solid, pretty solid player. I think the Lakers are in on him too. But he ended up going with uh, the Nets. I think he was bought out of his contract. There's Eric Gordon, 87 out of 90. Houston Rockets, that's for Leo. Eric Gordon might could could be in the buyout market too. And another rookie here, Kai Jones, eight ninety four out of nine ninety nine. And Dan Assel, Impact Impressions Autograph. Another old school player for Nathan Jones. Jalen Suggs, rookie die cut, 79 out of 96. Uh, 
Orlando Magic, Cody. Uh, 30 out of 99, that's Brandon Ingram. All right, final box coming up. In the most improved player market, I'm not sure, should John Morant be on this list? John Morant's the heavy favorite, minus 450. Hmm. I'm not sure if he should be in that category. Was he? He wasn't that bad. That, I don't know. That's odd. Well, next favorite, Miles Bridges for Charlotte, plus 600, 6 to 1. Darius Garland, DeHunta Murray, Anthony Simon, Desmond Bain, Jared Allen, Tyler Hero, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Maxey, Cole Anthony, Fred Van Vliet, Tyrese Halliburton, Jaron Jackson, LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball is a massive underdog at 250 to 1. I'm not sure why he's, he's even on that list. I kind of like Cole Anthony at 200 to 1. I mean, why is it John Moran such a why is he even on the list? I don't know, maybe that market will start clearing up in the next next month or so, but I feel like Cole Anthony was kind of a higher pick for the Orlando Magic. He didn't do too well last year, his rookie year. on that box um, but now it's having a, a great year Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Hollywood's guessing Anthony Davis. Oh, and I think this is, this usually, this is a uh, short print. That's James Harden, that's still Rockets edition. Rockets edition? Yeah, Rockets edition in his Brooklyn jersey. He's now in Philadelphia. Houston, that's going to go to Leo. Scotty Barnes pen pal would be nice. There's rookie Isaiah Todd for the Wizards, 99. That'll be for Corey. And Luca Garza. 10 out of 9 at 99 for Detroit. That's going to go to Mike, Mike Joseph. 
He was just name checked in Sports Center because he was visiting his college, Iowa, watching some uh, women's basketball. Cody's thinking a dual autograph. Oh boy, that means one one happy person, one sad person. There's KJ Kevin Johnson, Impact Impressions autograph. That it'll be for Jonathan and the Sons. Paul George to 99. Not sure if we're going to see Kawhi Leonard in the regular season this year. Not sure if we're going to see Zion in the regular season this year. That's crazy. That, that foot issue just got worse and worse and worse. All right, good luck, everybody. We've got a rookie yearbook autograph, so not a duel, no randomizer, and a rookie. That's a good sign. We want rookies here. We've got letter U, S, A, no, Usman Garuba. Rookie yearbook autographs. Usman, where, where, where was Usman? Drafted. He was drafted uh, 23rd. Goes to the Rockets from uh, from Real Madrid. From the Real Madrid basketball team. And that's for Leo and the Houston Rockets. All right, and here's a quick little recap. Thanks, everybody, for getting in the action here. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.